Happy Mother's Day to you. So today is Mother's Day and we are getting ready to head out. We're gonna have lunch with Dan's mom and then I think we might be going to the botanical gardens and I'm hoping to pick up some new dresses for work because it's really hot, really, really hot. And so I've started going to wearing dresses all the time just because it's so much cooler. So I thought you could come along on our day today. I hope you had a lovely Mother's Day and enjoyed celebrating no matter what you did. But we're gonna head out and go have lunch and I'll just take you along for part of it. <laughs> I was the only weird person that did this. Nope, I like lemons too. She'll sit there and eat them. She'll make faces the whole time. You would <laughs> Look at that face. Jacqueline. Your Everything was super good. We had to get some croissants to go. Can I see what the croissants look like? Try something tricky here. <laughs> So we are at the Botanical Gardens and I got a quiet car ride by myself. We can't all fit in one car. So because of the car seats and everything, well just in general, I don't think we would all fit in one car. But um, Dan's been wanting me to get something bigger that has like a third row, like a Toyota Sequoia or something like that. But I just, I don't know. I don't really want to drive something that big because I feel like it'd be such a pain to park on a daily basis. And I don't really want a minivan, I don't know. So we may have to figure that out just cause like, my parents come down here more and then obviously his mom's closer now. So we do have a need for seating more than four people more often. Um, but, um, you know, it's just gonna be like something I can park daily. But anyways, I am, oh, just, I think I said it in yesterday's video, my allergies are just horrible right now. And so like today, like they're in check, like my nose isn't like super itchy yet, although we're getting ready to go to the botanical gardens. So obviously we'll be outside, but I'm also having to take like three different kinds of allergy medicine to be able to like function. So um, I think it's also like makes you a little bit out of it when you have to take that much allergy medicine. And Natalie's had to start doubling up on allergy medicine too. So I think we're allergic to some of the same things. So hopefully our allergies don't start messing up while we're here, but um, she's doing like the Flonase stuff and I'm doing like Loratadine and Benadryl um, because it seems like if I try to do the 24 hour stuff, it just doesn't like I'll have an allergy attack. Like if I'm outside at all and sometimes even if I'm not outside, I'll just have an allergy attack. So I have to like keep the Benadryl, like a steady dose of that to um, like ward off the allergy attacks. And then like the 24 hour stuff like helps with like your inner ear and like all the tubing like being all itchy I don't know definitely allergic to something we're definitely gonna have to make an appointment at an allergist unfortunately because like this area like you know it's grown up a lot recently one of the kind of downsides to that is they don't have enough doctors here so if you need to get in especially like a specialist we don't have primary care providers here yet because it's a lot of them don't take new people so we've had to just go to like urgent care places which function as a primary care doctor here it's really weird i've never lived anywhere that's like this but this is what you have to do when you originally get here because it takes about a year to get a primary care doctor and then um the specialist luckily we don't need a referral to get into but once you make the appointment it's about four to six months before you can get into them because they're so overloaded and like well, somebody from work just went to a specialist and like they were just to follow up with the results and like they still haven't got back to her like two months later so they're just so overloaded here they really need more doctors here so if you're a doctor you're looking for work come to Huntsville because we need you here so um anyhow long story short is that we're gonna make appointments with allergists but if it's anything like the ENT and like people at work have already warned me it's gonna take like four to six months to get in so it's not gonna help us like right now like at the height of allergy season apparently and we were doing fine and then all of a sudden like this past week has just been horrible so i haven't been able to film anything i've just been like struggling to like function <laughs> functioning has been <laughs> the number one goal luckily i found some combination of medicines that seem to be at least getting me back to function so i'm back to trying to film a little bit so anyhow um, they should be about here, so we're going to go through and spend some time in the botanical gardens. And um, hopefully we don't all fall over because of our allergies, because my, my husband's mom's allergies are not good right now either. 
Um, luckily, Isabella doesn't seem to be too affected by it. And my husband has had sinus surgery before, and so he has to take all kinds of sinus and allergy medicine, but he was already on a regimen, so that seemed to help him too. So it's um, hit Natalie and me the worst this past week. So anyhow, we're gonna go in here and hopefully be able to stay for a little while and enjoy it. We're gonna try to get, they have local sourced honey here, like it's supposed to help with allergies because it has all, all the naturally um, allergens in the honey. So we're gonna try to get some of that while we're here and maybe that'll help with their allergies. So we'll see if that helps. Coming in from a little bit different angle. So normally really come straight over from the parking lot. This is the main building. It looks like they've got a little amplifier thing over there. And it's the butterfly garden. And I guess they just built this building a couple years ago. But it's got that beautiful traditional southern style to it. We've got all kinds of cute rocking chairs up by the exhibit or the front of the entrance. We're gonna go probably to the kids area. Yeah, right. But I couldn't see anything on them as far as you know, them being marked. And nope. a lot of There's are Isabella right? that way. Got some slushies from Sonic on the way home. Isabella got lemon lime. Natalie got blue raspberry. Isabella's just fell over. And I got stuck watermelon. So we're gonna have some slushies real quick and then head to my mother in law's house and go hang out for a bit until it's time to go get dinner. We are waiting on the train to pass and then heading to Target real quick to pick up some things for the week. Choo choo! So we picked up some food and stuff at Target, so we'll do a real quick haul and then we are going to eat dinner. So I got a couple of these Market Pantry yogurts and I got some granola to put on those. I like the honey almond yogurt. We got some tomatoes, some Coffee Mate. I get the sugar-free vanilla stuff. Also got some milk for the girls and we get all this stuff out of the bags. It'd probably be a lot easier. Here is the granola. So we stopped at Target and picked up some food on the way home to get us started for the week. We did not get a click list today, so I'll probably either have to do that in the middle of the week or just fill it in. My husband's been traveling a lot lately, so um, he, you know, he, he is traveling less. Let me just put that out there. He's traveling less, but he has had to be gone the past couple weeks, so we just need a different variety of food in that case. So I may not even need to do the click list in that case. So we got uh, Lunchables. We got some... Turlini. We got some pesto with basil sauce, another pool lounger. The kids use their money and got LOL dolls. There is Quakers, blueberries and cream oatmeal, some coconut force, shampoo and body wash, cheetah chomps, panda puffs, and we have been liking these uh, granola cups, these almond butter granola cups. We got strawberries and blueberries and yogurt and granola to go together so we can make like yogurt parfaits and avocado. Um, there is the Target brand Up and Up Flonase. There's some kids allergy stuff, um, sugar-free coffee mate, almond milk, Uncrustables, and make regular milk for the kids. Some little tomatoes, headbands for the kids. <laughs> underwear that Bella's been liking lately is C9 underwear, and Natalie really, really wants to show this LOL doll. She keeps trying to put it in the frame. This is, she used her money and got an LOL doll. And Isabella used her money and got an LOL pet. So, that is what we got at Target. I'm going to get this stuff unloaded real quick and start doing dinner, which we're going to have this basil pesto stuff. And also, just to show it at Dillard's, I got a bracelet. I went in to actually look earlier when we were just driving between places when we were going from 
the botanical garden so my mother-in-law's house i stopped past dillard's i'm trying to find more dresses for work i didn't really see any dresses that i like they were just all a little bit too um fancy or whatever i don't know if i've even shown my dress that i'm wearing today but i really like like these cotton dresses these are style and company dresses i got at macy's like two years ago or something and i cannot find something similar to that this year so i'm trying to find more of those this is just like a multicolor gem bracelet and I liked all the turquoise that it had in it. So I picked that up from the jewelry department. It was really inexpensive. I believe it was only about 15 bucks. I don't know what the brand of it is, uh, but it's just it was at Dillard's. So if you have a Dillard's around you, they have a bunch of this type of stuff in there right now. <laughs> so we just eat dinner and the kids got these LOL surprise dolls. Isabella got one of the animal ones. What do you think about the animal ones, sweetheart? <laughs> messy. This is, uh... Very messy. They came yeah. with kitty litter in the bottom of them that we didn't realize. And apparently well, the little shoes... We, we did. <laughs> We're stuck in the kitty litter. Yes, we didn't realize. Let's, let's put it that way. Yeah. So there was kitty That's litter. Bad. <laughs> LOL surprise kitty litter all over the sink. And, uh... I've decided that the LOL surprise is actually on the parents, not the, the children. <laughs> that's the LOL yes, part. The LOL. Haha, we just gave your kid something that's going <laughs> to make a big old mess. Pretty much. So I hope you had a very lovely Mother's Day. And we are winding down the day. I'm hopefully going to start doing some editing to try to get videos posted for this upcoming week. We're going into a busy time where it's the end of the school year and Bella's birthday is coming up and you know it's just like kind of all the end of the year end of the school year chaos like hustle and fuss and all that so all that's going to be going on pretty soon so I'm just starting to try to get prepped for that I've got like a whole list over here by my computer of things to order start looking into stuff for Isabella's birthday it's coming up towards the middle of the end of the month and then also the end of school some things for like the end of the year class party and stuff like that um, that I'm going to send in. I need to get that stuff ordered probably tonight. And then also Isabella, she's been reading the Harry Potter series. She's actually on the fourth book right now. She's on Goblet of Fire. She's only seen the first movie so far, but I think we'll probably do another movie party here pretty soon and watch the second movie, which I like that one because it's got Dobby in it. Um, the third one is my absolute favorite though, so we definitely have to have a big movie party for that one. But anyhow, she wants to have a Harry Potter themed birthday party. So um, we're just going to have a little get together with some of her closest friends and I might try to get her something Harry Potter themed to wear and then just do like little Harry Potter themed like gifts and then we'll have treats here at the house and stuff like that. We're going to like a local play center with her friends or whatever but um, that's what we're doing for that. So I just got to start thinking about the Harry Potter stuff, how much I want to get you know involved for her here at home like what I want to decorate and stuff like that probably keep it pretty simple this year but um it is exciting because she chose Harry Potter on her own no input for me that's what she said she wanted so um other than introducing it of course <laughs> you know that's what she that's what she said she wanted so that's kind of fun that's a fun thing for me so we'll have all of those things coming up and then before you know it I'm gonna start doing Disney planning videos probably sometime in June because we are headed back there this summer so we'll have that series coming up and then I've got to make a decision shortly on what we're going to do for our fall trip where we're going to go if we're going to go see someplace different um, I'd like to go back to Niagara Falls but I think I'm thinking maybe like what I want to do like ultimately I don't know if we'll do this next year we're not doing it this year because we've already got different plans this year but Next year, or a subsequent year, I would like to go to Niagara Falls and stay on the Canadian side on the 4th, so it would be in Canada, but then you can see all of the fireworks and everything and the light show on the American side. It's going to be really, really cool to see their fireworks combined with the light show on the water. So that's definitely like a bucket list item. I'd like to do that coming up. We're also talking about an Alaskan cruise coming up um, in 2019. So there's that. I might try to take one short little um, holiday cruise, short cruise before that. So we'll see. So I'm going to start kind of like laying all that out, you know, kind of like mentally laying it out and then also writing it down in calendars and stuff just because, just, I don't know, I kind of look at like our vacation schedules or taking time off schedules even before I worked 
kind of like in six month blocks. So I kind of planned out the first half of our year, have an idea of what we're doing over the summer and that sort of thing. So now that we're pretty much almost at the halfway point of the year again, I've got to start looking at what we're going to do for the second half of the year and do all that. So anyways, that's just a little side note, but I hope that you guys had a wonderful Mother's Day and had a relaxing day, whatever you did today. And I will see you in some videos and vlogs coming up very soon. As always, let me know if you have any video requests down below. And I will try to get those done. Obviously, I have just, I don't know, I've been knocked out with my allergies. I've not felt like filming. I just, I haven't had anything to say. I've just been like an allergy, like haze, basically. Um, but I'm hoping that that will relieve a little bit. I mean, I'm feeling a little bit better, but hoping that that will relieve a little bit and I can kind of get back on more of uh, regular schedule so stay tuned i guess so that's it for today thanks so much for watching and have a great day